always in a hole. Not, nice not always a literal hole, but it's a nice dig, though, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's it's really lovely. I mean, I was when I started, I took a few of these bricks out, and I thought was, there's a little bit of this sort of old like clinker kind of stuff. Bit a little bit of chalk there, but that was put down originally to. I mean, these are still original Edwardian stuff, and that's. And I've started breaking through it a little bit. Far, what we're going to get here? But then came into this lovely bit of soil here. This was really nice, which they're actually using for topsoil around the garden. Oh, really? So it's been recycled. Yeah, yeah. So skip, that's it. Not, not loads of skips turning over on the front drive, and then we come down a bit further. It's got a bit more clay. Um, again, just. The spade just went straight through it. Has it been get flooded? No, not at all. We've had a, a, a rare run of dry weather. We really have. I mean, it was, I think, last Thursday, we, it was raining all day. Friday, Friday afternoon, I started the dig. Um, and it's going to be dry for the next week and a half, I think. Oh, brilliant. So, start getting some concrete in and you're some blocks up. So, how, how much are you going to pour then? Uh, we're going to mass fill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just because I can't be bothered breaking my back, laying bricks in a hole. No. Nobody wants to do that now. No, so, yeah. no, yeah. so it's, um, yeah, so we'll get it messed. We'll, we'll set up some stakes along at the height I want to finish. Yeah. That will co correspond with uh, finished floor level so I can work out my courses up. Mm. Um, this will all be dug out because we're going for suspended floor to uh, continue the original one through. But we've still got to dig out and put 150 mil of hardcore down, 75 mil concrete, 200 mil air gap, then we can have our joists. Really. Yeah, so. When you put that concrete, you put a uh, membrane down as well. Yeah, we will do it. I mean, moisture coming up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it will. It's not specified, but we will do it anyway uh, because the joist will be 200 mil up, yeah. and we've got the air bricks, which will continue through to the new build. Um, so it will have plenty of airflow. So it shouldn't be no problems with damp at all. Um, but, and insulation. Put yep, insulation yeah, it's, yeah. It's got to have. Uh, oh, I think it's 150 actually between the joists. Um, Celotex, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll support, we'll just screw a couple of battens on the side and then just push yeah. it down. Yeah, six inch joists, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, actually no. I think they might no. They're eight inch joists oh, right. because we're going we're spanning side to side with no sleeper, um, yeah. with no sleeper yeah. um, because we're continuing the floorboards through, which are coming this way. Um, but yeah, it should be should be fine. There's not much difference in cost really with six and eight inch timbers, and there's only going to be about four <laughs> we're going to be reusing this this old door as well so we're making all new casements around it the door we're keeping the paint's a bit peeled but it's actually in really good condition there's no rot on it whatsoever really? so we're going to reuse that reuse the stone step bring everything forward um, and just tighten it up a bit and where the kitchen window is currently that's coming out yeah. and we're going to be uh, putting some french doors in there but again, we're going to be making them in our, our little on-site workshop we got going. So we're just going to work out the design with the client, see what, exactly what they want. Um, yeah, we'll just keep, well, Ian will keep working away in there. He loves it in there. This extension was put on in the 70s, I think sort of mid to late 70s. So they went with, um, they, they dug down about, about 900 so we've gone a bit a little bit lower and just just undermined their foundation a bit so we can pour ours in and sort of tuck right around it um, you know it probably won't make that much difference but it, it every little helps um, so yeah they went for just pouring a, a minimal foundation and then doing all brickwork up which I'm, I'm not doing that no way <laughs> so so like we said we'll just go with mass field and then we can start our block work from a decent height um, yeah, and they've gone thermalites and built it straight up. But we're not we're not going to use thermalite on the outside though. Um, we're going concrete block. Yeah, that's what I do. I it's, yeah, it's just a nightmare for rendering on. They crack. Yeah. All the time. So we we got thermalite inside, yeah. mass filled cavity back, and then yeah. medium density concrete on the outside, and it's just perfect for rendering. Holds the holds them up nice. It doesn't dry in too quick and crack it all up. And, you're not racing against the clock with it. Uh, inspections tomorrow. So yeah, they'll come and, well, they'll come and say, yep, that's absolutely perfect. You've done a lovely job, I'm sure. So what concrete do you get? Uh, six and one. We're just going to get it. Gonna knock it up nah, I, I was considering it, but the, the trouble is it's 
although we've got quite a lot of room here, we can only, we've only got a small axis on the front, so everything's got to be dropped right at the front, then it's either bringing it all round and knocking it up, or knocking it up there and bringing it round. So you get a mix of well, Yeah, we'll get a mix of and just barrel it round. That's what I've got, yeah. Volumetric, so we just pay for what we use. That's the way forward. So, yeah, it's, it's not worth um, mixing it up yourself anymore, really. If we do knock it up ourselves, it'll be extra labour I've got to get in. Um, and yeah, well, the extra labour spends most of the time on the phone when I'm waiting for a barrel of muck to come round. <laughs> the bathroom was the first job um, because when we rip out the um, extension downstairs or part of the old extension, there's a shower room down there, uh, which will obviously be going. And the bathroom they had, it wasn't that great. So they wanted a nice bathroom to have for the duration of the job. Um, yeah, so we saw a bit of, the, bit of tiling last time. He's, Funny old yeah, yeah, you've but, on. but yeah, they all um, it's all come on quite nice. Work, and it doesn't leak. Oh, that's such a hole. Yeah, watch that one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> that's one yeah. of those ones, isn't it? Just <laughs> and the whole. Yeah, it was a shame really because we had, they wanted the door open in the opposite direction. So these are the floor <laughs> tiles that you weren't enjoying. <laughs> Natural slate. Yeah. yeah, it was uh, not a fun day that one. It, I mean, you know, you, you're, it's fine the up and down a little bit, which is, that's all right, you can deal with that, but they just weren't square. It's all a lipping as well, isn't it? Just yeah, they, just, they were just separating, and but they went down all right in the end, actually, yeah. quite like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it doesn't feel too bad underfoot. I mean, Better than I thought, quite Yeah, honestly. well, you're not going to, I don't think you'll stub your toe on anything. But. I mean, this is ideal, really, because it got that whole big manifold of pipe yeah, work, yeah. which fitted perfectly in there. Everything flows out nicely. Mm. We've got to put everything out onto it. It goes into a hopper outside, but I've oh, put it all out into a, a two inch. You know, we probably didn't need it, but I just like it with, a, with the shower, with the amount of pressure we've got coming out now, and the yeah. amount of water that's gonna go down there. So is all this linked up to your own venture? Yes, um, so we're now onto pressurized hot and balanced cold to come back down. Um, so obviously the same with the shower, with our, with our whole manifold that comes through back up to here. So. Uh, the clients are loving it. Yeah, yeah. There we Perfect. go. So you got a little flag flapping around down there under the bathroom. Telling you that a Sorry. servant is required in the bathroom. Exactly. Screw <laughs> up my back. Yeah, but <laughs> bring the loofer up. But yeah, it was. It's, it's coming out really well. There's a slight little yeah. crack on the bottom, but it's it cleaned up nice because again it had all been tiled around and all grout all over it. But a little bit of wire wool on it, it come up a treat. Brilliant. Okay, back in the workshop. Oh, it's a lovely smell in here, isn't it? It's beautiful. And you've got a blooming electric fire, you softy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, since you moved down from the north, oh, dog. you've gone soft. <laughs> so I've got jacket, hoodie, another chili underneath there. So terrible. I'm going to give you the bad news. On Wednesday, James hopes to pour the concrete, and so he's going to drag you out of this workshop. Uh, so you hit the heat drop side with me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you need? One of those heated jackets. Have you seen them? I've got one. No. That's what I've got, yes. Yeah, what I've got. It's on. Uh, Even in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how soft I've got. Which one is it? What heated jacket? Um, well, it was just off, off uh, Amazon. Oh, right. Okay. But, so, so, uh, so yeah, it's not like a Milwaukee. Yeah. So, where's yeah. the batteries? The batteries are um, rechargeable, isn't it? Yeah. They? Little uh, power pack one. Yeah. yeah. So, it keep, keep, yeah, keeps you nice and warm. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the world coming to you, James? I know, I'll come in in a t-shirt. Yeah. He's, he's got the steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I'm not wearing my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only if you're a postman. You know? yeah. Everything's going well. Um, Everything's going well. 20 casements already made. Yeah. 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 Um, had the primer, two undercoats, so it just needs the top coat now. Yeah. Um, I've got another 10 casements to make. Then that's it, getting ready for fitting. So yeah, it's going well, going yeah. really well. Yeah. And then you're going to make the doors like here? Yes, yeah. Same woods, same tin? Same Marante, yes, out yeah. of Marante again, yeah. Um, I'd imagine it'll be the same paint again, the customer will want, so. Just tell us, tell us the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made any mistakes? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> that one you cocked up when we were here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
you it's your fault. That. You allowed that because that was a distraction of you, the camera. You're putting yeah. me under pressure. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, no, no. It's all right. So only that one. That's just that's that one. Stuff. Yeah. 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 Ian doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, well, not yet. Fingers crossed. Not until I start crossed. fitting them. <laughs> well, and then you find out they're all the wrong size. They're all the wrong size. Yeah, they will be. No, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? Where you shove it through, just to go shove it through the sword. Yeah. Oh, it's like you stop concentrating, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's good if you're methodical. Yeah. And you're well, working away. So you haven't got a radio in here. It's no point, is it? No. With all that noise going on. Yeah, I can't hear a thing. No. So let James have the radio for the day. Oh, well, I just don't let him have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want him to know what time it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you, you poured your concrete? Yep, we had a, a little a 45 minute slot to do it in, but we, we just crept over a little bit. He was a bit late, the driver, so, but he was all right. He, he didn't mind waiting the extra 15 minutes, but we got it all round up to a nice level. We, we set it all out first. We staked it out with level stakes all the way around the footings so that when we poured the concrete, we brought it to the top of the stakes, which we'd left half an inch higher than we wanted because we knew the concrete would sink about half an inch uh, to give us to the level we wanted um, we, and it's worked out pretty well it's nice and level nice equal bed all the way round um, tucking into the damp course on both sides it's looking good you phoned me up the other day didn't you yes you were short of a level yeah well it's been a little while since I've done any brickwork um, and the last time I did do it I had a set of levels which were not very good I'll say that they're just keep turning them around they were awful so I, I had enough of it so I thought I'm going to invest in a real decent set of levels so I did a bit of research on the net and some various forums and stuff and I found a company in I think they're in Somerset called uh, Superior Level so I've got a lovely set of levels there it came, it's actually a set of four but uh, the, the little one foot one's gone walk about but but they're they're beautiful I mean I should clean them up and look after them a bit better, bit better really but um they are a company called Superior Level, and part of their price, I don't know if you can get that, they engrave your name on it. Extremely well made. Well, I'll let you pick one up earlier on the weight of them. They're something else, really. They're, they're incredible. Spot on level, spot on plum, and also they give you a, a lifetime guarantee. If it goes out, send it back to them, they'll reset the vials and send it back to you. So they've set their vials in blocks of, of hard... Yep. Which is pretty unusual. Well, it is. Well, they give you options, actually. There's other... The, I chose for the hardwood, being a chippy, yeah, I thought yeah. I'll go for the, the timber approach. But they do a black finish, like an anodized kind of finish. Yeah, they're, they're really good, very, very helpful as well. Spoke to them a couple of times on the phone, and uh, they've got lots of different options of levels and stuff. So I went for it, and I haven't regretted it at all. However, I kind of do a bit of brickwork, I thought they're a little bit too nice for brickland. I might accidentally whack it with a trowel or something, or, or hit it with a club hammer because my bricklay is a bit bad, really being a chippy. So, yeah, so I gave you a call the other day to see what you recommended in as far as levels go. Just something... Well, tell me about, you, you had a fat max, didn't you? Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's what I had been using. And to be honest, I don't think straight off the shelf it was level. It was, it was pretty rough. Yeah. Um, you know, the two foot was all right, <laughs> but the four and the six, absolutely useless, yeah, really. So what yeah. Do you do with those? Uh, they're in the skip. <laughs> there we go. That's it, lovely. Yeah, mate. Nice it is. It's good when you knock it up yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know how you want it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've finally got myself a labourer who's going to be turning up tomorrow. Oh, really? When I say turning up, I've got to give him a lift. So. <laughs> it's like icing a cake, isn't it? Mm. Let's try not to fill the vent up. It'll be <laughs> useful. Do the job.
Oh, just not enough for a block. I have to cut one. Oh. Old school with the hammer and bolster. Mm. So, Ian, you haven't come out this blooming work. Yet. Still in here. James is cracking the whip. You, um, <laughs> you actually helped him with the concrete, though, didn't you? Yes, oh, yeah, I had to do that. I had to yeah. help him out there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Poor lad. So, I brought you a little gift here. Oh, that's very kind of you. Have a look at it. Well, do Roger, you, cheers. You might say that and you might not yeah. Have it. <laughs> right? I know you were struggling with that other router. Yes, so yeah, we're, oh, that's nice. Little Makita. I've had it for ages. In fact, I used it. Ah, oh, look now, at that. This, look at this, that. Yeah, this is the problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is why, basically, this is why you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I can't use it. I'm just looking, let's have a look at that hand on a minute. Right, so this is the problem. This handle, I don't know why it's part of the company from, from the rest of it, mm. uh, but I reckon that if you're going to use it under the... <laughs> Under the router table. Under the table. We yeah, yeah. Probably make even if it requires a bit of super glue. Yes. Yeah. No. We'll sort. We'll sort some out there. Like a bit of a weakness because I don't even think it got bashed. So the reason I thought we might be useful is because it's got the adjustment handle that you can operate. Perfect. From the top, which is what you're that after. That is you? exactly what I was after. Yeah, it was just a little awkward, like nearly underneath the router table. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll probably fit. Onto there, I reckon. So yeah, we'll sort some out there. The yeah, well, it'd be like that, won't it? It'll be set up like that. Um, yeah, I'll have to take this. I'll have to unscrew this. I think it is a bolt. And then a bolt through there. Must be through there. onto there. So you know the other week you said to me you don't get paid and get praise yeah yeah well on our last job got a little story for you it's great lovely lady so we were only about two weeks into the job and she was so happy with what we were doing she she sort of bought us a bottle of wine each at the end of, on the friday we we're like oh that's very very kind we haven't even finished the job yet so all, all very nice another week's gone by we've got to friday we weren't expecting anything but we'd had a bit of chat throughout the week just general chit chat with a with a client and she said that oh, she'd we'd spoken about what kind of food we like to eat and do you like sweet stuff and i yeah i don't mind a bit of sweet stuff ian's like nah don't don't do sweet stuff got to look after the guns haven't i well that's it <laughs> that's what he's here for i'm the brains so so, yeah. so anyway so we, we know all the chat's gone by friday's come around and we see we're off now see you later oh wait a minute wait a minute i've got something for you i'm like oh okay here we go something else she said, oh, yeah, James, she said, there's a, there's a box of chocolates there for you. You can take them home, share them around with the kids and that. And she went, Ian, I said, I know, I know you don't really eat sweets and stuff, but so um, I've got you this, a trout. <laughs> <laughs> she said, but you've got to eat it today because it goes out of date. Look, I've got it reduced. <laughs> Still it's eyes in. It's humming away eyes. So, uh... Catch it. So, it's all right. so did you eat it? Um, it depends if she's going to watch this or not. <laughs> <laughs>